Welcome to my channel. My name is Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, I'm very sorry I didn't get a video up last week, but um, the, uh, we're selling our house, so I was cleaning up the art room instead of making a video. <laughs> Sell it. But uh, let me just show you what I've been doing the, for the week. So over here is my drawing rack, and now it's uh, nice and clean, and it's empty, and we are totally going to make this whole thing full of plus pieces of art. <laughs> and over here is all my art supplies. It looks a lot bigger than it actually does in person. I'm guessing from the phone. What do you have in there? Um, some extra cups, full trawl, bunch of ink, extra canvases, a lot of paint, a bow torch, some random books, and here's all my unicorn spit, which is a lot. <laughs> Want to show on the other side? Oh, and also there's still even more in this side too. This side is actually kind of just a bunch of random stuff. Alright. And over here is where I'm going to be doing a bunch of art. Let's get into the video. So this is our project today. It's um, the glass pot to a hummingbird feeder if you don't recognize it. It's actually just cut off from the rest of it so we can paint it. I'm going to be making this for my aunt in California. If you're watching, I hope you like it. And as you can see on the ends, I taped it up so the birds don't choke on paint when they're eating their bird feed. That would be really awful if that actually happened. I do not want to kill any birds. Since it's uh, taped up and everything, I can't set it on a cup, so I just completely like sealed this whole Lazy Susan with um, plastic wrap, and I hope that's enough. You know what the colors I'm using? I... Oh. Why is that like squirting to the side? It's probably enough red because that's a little tiny base. <laughs> oh yeah, and blue. This one's almost doing it too. Is it because of all the drink paint that's on the end of this? Yeah, I think so. I'll try and clean them up for you. Thank you. And yellow. This is cobalt blue. You think that's enough? Yeah. So I would probably put a little more yellow. Let's squirt it down the side. I'll hold it for you. So that, that way it'll layer on top. So if you if you hold the cup at an angle like that, you, let me see if I can show you. It lays on top of the paint instead of going into the paint. Which in this case may be kind of a good thing. Yeah, so let's put a little bit more of that cobalt Ooh. right there. Just a tiny bit so it lays on top. And there's a lot of red in that, so I don't think we'll add any more of that. And there's a lot of that blue. You know, aqua blue too. It's a nice blue. And it is a nice blue. Okay, so this is called what? What do you, when you put it dirty on? Dirty pour. Dirty pour. Wait, now is this, is it called a dirty cup or a dirty pour? <laughs> It's called, yes, it's called a dirty cup when you put it in the cup. Hold it down there so they can see it. So that's called a dirty cup. And then when you pour it over, it's called a dirty pour. If you did rings, it would be called a tree ring pour. So I think I'm just going to do the dirty pour. Well, hang on, hang on. I want to move the camera so we can get a better shot. All right. Oh, it might just be the lighting. Go for it. Ooh, look at that. Wow. It actually looks super beautiful. It does look super beautiful. Oh, let me just pull the rest of it. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even have words to kind of describe this. Uh, wow. It looks like something from Willy Wonka. It does. It's really pretty. The paint's getting stuck right here, so I'm gonna see if I can get it to go down. Okay. Kind of the same thing on this side, but it's like going down. Kind of just like... It's going. Like this, like a triangle, just scooting down. 
Oh, paint. Wow. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of veins of orange, green. I think some veins of purple. Oh, that might be pink. I, I can't tell if that's pink or purple. Oh, it actually covered really nicely, didn't it? Yeah, and it looks... I don't even need to... Wow. Okay, so... Dang. Let's, uh... We need it. to try this again. Yeah, there you go. So there are some bubbles. We should pop those bubbles. Ooh, grab the torch. I like how that cobalt blue adds a subtle contrast. And that blue is... Um, Almost like a purple. It's unicorn spit, so it's a really vibrant, dark color. Usually dark colors are just kind of dark, but and it's, they take it's over. like a vibrant blue. Yeah, normally dark colors are just dark and they take over. I honestly was expecting I put too much red and the red was going to take over. Okay, I'm turning the torch on. Here we go. Turn faster. Oh, it's so cool. All right. You done? Easy peasy. Bubbles pop easy on these and on vases because the paint is a bit thinner. Wow. Oh, my mind is blown. Yep, I like really love it. Fireworks and tonight. Now we're gonna let this dry and sell it to you once it's completely sealed. I don't even know if it can even look any better. Just wow. Yeah, the colors are really cool. It's I like Mary it. Poppins. <laughs> it's popping? Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> popping. Pop a locking. Okay, so let me see your hands. Next oh, to nothing. Oh, put it down. They can't see. Oh. There. <laughs> So almost nothing on your hands, just a little bit from touching that cup. So this is a good one yeah. for beginners because you don't get much on your hands. Yeah. yeah, and this is beautiful. It is beautiful. Here's the hummingbird all finished. Um, it's completely sealed and I just wanted to quickly sew it to you. And I think it looks amazing. Because it's going to be outside, we didn't seal it with resin. We used Helmsman Spar on it, and it's super shiny. It's like glass. It's really, really pretty. I hope you enjoyed the video, and maybe you can try this technique at home. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and you guys are the best.